In this video, I will be talking about um, automated rules in uh, TikTok Ads Manager. So um, automated rules is a really, really nice feature that TikTok has made available to us. Um, it has been available for a few months now. Um, when I first started on TikTok, they didn't have any rules. That was in um, like summer of last year. There, there were no built-in automated rules. I had to use a third-party software um, to do it. But ever since um, TikTok came out with this feature, it's been one that I use time and time again, and it's very, very, very useful, especially when you are scaling. And and even if you are not actively like scaling, you know, ad groups or, or products, it's all, it's still a very good feature to make use of. So to get access to it or to get to it um, from your campaign dashboard, um, you can click on automated rules and click manage rules. Or if you have um, active campaigns or ad groups going, you can select them individually or, um, or in bulk and apply rules specific to those um, selected um, campaigns or, or ad groups. Um, but for this quick tutorial, I'm just gonna um, create a rule that will apply to all ad groups or all campaigns. So click manage rules, and that will take you to the automated rules um, dashboard. All right, so here um, is the the, um, the page to manage the rules. Um, and as you see here, I do have quite a few um, rules that I have active, um, some that I've turned off. Um, and when creating your rules or thinking about what strategy to apply um, for your rules, you have to think about what your ultimate goal is. What is the objective that you're trying to achieve? In my case, if you look at some of these rules that I have here, right, it says, you know, if it's if I spend more than $75 today and my cost per result is greater than $90, then, you know, um, turn off the, the ad group. Um, and, you know, for some people, this might not make sense. But for me, um, I wanted to be a little bit more risky, right? So I was willing to lose, you know, up to $90, right? Um, because I wanted to give TikTok enough time and enough spend to let it do its thing, right? So I didn't want to cut um, my ad groups too early. So that's why I had um, this sort of a range, right? It's a pretty high range um, for, um, for allowing your ad groups to spend uh, that much. So, you know, depending on what you want to do, you can, you know, be as flexible as you want. Um, so this is what I have for this um, ad account. Now I have another ad account for a different store where I'm very, very strict on the rules, right? I have a rule that says, you know, if if the ad group spends more than $18 and does not get a purchase, turn it off. Um, or um, there's another rule that says if, you know, if the cost per result is more than $24 and it's spent more than $18, also turn off the ad group because I want to control, um, you know, my profitability, right? And, and minimize um, the losses. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of how I go about, about it. So, um, so let's just do a rule here. So let's create a new rule. Um, and here you can select, you know, where you want to apply this rule to, whether it be all active campaigns or all active ad groups, etc. cetera. Um, I usually do create my rules for the ad group level. So I say apply to all active ad groups. And um, one of the basic ones is, right, minimizing loss when, um, you're not getting results, right? When the ad group is not performing. So um, at a minimum, you'd have um, set up one of these rules, just depending on what your level of, to what your tolerance is and, you know, maybe what your break-even um, cost is. So if total cost of each object today is greater than, and if you want to be very strict, you know, um, you can say if it's, 
we spent more than $24 and um, result our results today is less than one meaning that we have not gotten any purchases and this is assuming that your um, that your ad group is a conversion ad group where you're going for purchases or complete payments because that will determine what your result is, right? Because if you have, um, if your objective is add to carts, um, then this result is referring to add to carts. So you have to keep that in mind as well. So yeah, so if I, if this ad group does not get any purchase after spending $24, then I want to turn it off. And you want to run this as often as possible. Um, depending on um, what um, strategy your ad group has, whether it be, um, you know, lowest cost or cost cap and the budget of that, um, that ad group, you know, TikTok may spend your money evenly throughout the day or it may spend it, you know, um, pretty quickly. And so you always want to run you know, such a rule as often as possible. And here it's uh, every 30 minutes. And then um, notify whoever you want to notify. Um, yeah. And then um, just give it a good name so that you can easily um, look at the rule and see what it is all about. So um, if total costs... Or I like to say, you know, make it very friendly, right? Re user friendly or reader friendly. So if it spent more than $24 and no purchase or no result, then off. Yep. And then hit complete. And then that's just the summary here. And hit confirm. Yeah, so um, that's it. It is very, very straightforward. Um, I know there are many different uh, type of rules that you can set. You can look at, you know, um, cost per click, CTR, um, whatever it is that, um, uh, whatever you want to achieve out of it. Um, you can come up with a rule that kind of matches matches what you want to um, to achieve. Yeah, so you know that's it for this video. So remember that you know, especially when it, when it comes to Q four um, or or at any time when you are scaling, you want to have you know some sort of rules in place so that you can you know reclaim your time and not having to sit in front of your computer all day long monitoring. Uh, your your ads, um, yeah, yeah. Because depending on what scaling strategy you're using, you might end up with you know scores and scores or hundreds of of active ad groups, and you don't want to be manually clicking through all of them and and turning them off or or on. So rules um, are pretty valuable when it comes to TikTok ads. So that's all for this video. See you on the next one.